Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and we're back with more Doctor Who. This is the third episode of series, no sorry, the fourth episode of series 10. Um, last week we had Thin Ice, which um, was an interesting episode, certainly um, a lot better than the episode the week before I felt. Um, in fact, it was probably the best episode so far this season. Um, where we saw the big monster that was being held underneath the River Thames, we saw a kid being devoured, and uh, it was all well and good. It was it was just a bit of an improvement, really. I think on um, the storytelling that had been you know that has been so far uh, this season. I am liking Bill a lot more than I thought I would, which is one of the positives to come out of this season. Um, you know, the Doctor is being rather distant. Um, so far this season, which is understandable. Um, you know, he's kind of had his memory wiped. You know, Clara has gone from his mind. Um, he's still suffering with a lot of the pain and loss of what he's gone through, you know. Um, and I think the the entire season is going to be building up to this. Who's behind the door? I already know who it is. You know, the knocks. That, that give it away at the end of the last episode. Plus, it kind of spoiled online. I'm not going to say necessarily who it is, but, um, you know, just in case anyone hasn't seen spoilers or anything, but um, I think it's safe to say we know who it's going to be. And I'm, it's going to be interesting to see how that is actually played out come the end of the season. But what we're going to do is we're going to watch this latest episode called Knock Knock. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where we end up, what ends up going on. So why don't we watch it? Enough chat. Let's react. I'm kind of glad that I found my flat on the very first viewing. What do other people do? Other people have money. Forgive me, but are you looking for somewhere to live? Oh, dodgy looking old man. He's gonna he's gonna drug you all and and rape you or torture you. It's gonna be one of the two. Check the tower. I, I'm afraid the tower is unsafe. <coughs> Bill, look at it. Guys, come on! You don't just walk into a random stranger's house expecting. This place is you're gonna die first. Yes, yes, of course. So you'll sign the contract. Yes. <laughs> you don't even know what the contract is. Nope. Literally, kids. You're not asking the question. Who are you? Do I need content insurance? How much is the rent? Are we allowed pets? You know. You gotta think these things through, kids. These, this is why you're all gonna die. <clears throat> okay, he's dead. Landline. What is this, Scotland? Actually, <laughs> that's funny. Because it's true. Tapping, little footsteps, like in the room above. What? Maybe it's a little doll that's come to life. Or maybe a massive freaky spider. Probably just a mouse. <laughs> yeah, we know. Just messing with her. Mice. If there's mice, I'm leaving. What's that? Pavel? Pavel's upstairs. No, he's not. He's dead. Paul, go and have a look. Why me? You're physically the biggest. And the most expendable. And the most Scottish. It's in the kitchen. Doctor! Hello. There isn't any. <laughs> I thought you'd gone home. Me too. Is it any what? Central heating. I've been looking around inside and out. Very interesting. Lots of words. <laughs> uh, why are you still here? Do you know what that is? That's an oil burning heater. You might need it. There's no washing machine either. The hob really? is from the 30s. Thank you so much. Power sockets will not take your devices. Oh, I thought it was just my No, 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 no. They are out of date. Oh, so this is an <clears throat> out of date house. It's unavoidable, my dear. How do you get into the tower? You don't. Oh. The tower is specifically excluded from the terms of our agreement. All oh, right. Well, thank you. No tower. Got it. That kid's face looks like his skull's trying to escape. Oh, uh, are you staying here tonight? Yeah. Ah, uh, no, he's not. Well, I'm not sure. There's no reason to. I probably will. There isn't a bed, so. Sleep on the couch. 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you fancy him? No, who? Paul, why? No. That's not. Nope, that's him being killed. Nope, he's dead. Come on, we got the joke. He's dead. He's dead, I tell ya. <laughs> no. Okay. That's been a murder. <laughs> the house is alive. Quincy Jones. The basis he'd hired turned out to be a large neon death and Vok, or what was worse. I can't be drunk! Wait! She's gonna die next. I think she's gonna die. Great. Now we're stuck here. What's trying to stop her? He's not questioning, like, why are they now trapped? It's an end. Ooh, hello. This is like Davy Jones's ship, the Flying Dutchman. Do you think he can hear us? I think he's dead. It will be okay. Is this what happened to Paul? Do we call an ambulance? It's the reception. <laughs> sort the record out. Hire a tree surgeon. Wait. It's just repeating the same someone do this to you? track over and over. I have no desire to intrude, but I felt there was a problem. Have wake you... up, wake up, up to come. Oh, it's a bug. That's uh Oh, oh don't tell me there's loads of bugs. I was explaining something quite different. You know, like a gaseous creature or a microscopic. Did you see it move through the wood? Interacting at a cellular level. This must be alien. Gotta be alien. What are you doing here? <laughs> On your holidays. Harry, get a matchbox. A matchbox. Hold that shoebox. Don't let it get away. Step on it. Squish it. it. There's going to be a lot more. Oh, this is nightmarish for me. I hate bugs. Oh, no. Squish them all. Run! Run, are you gonna be eaten? It's an elevator? My daughter was dying. What are you talking about? Nothing could be done. Shut up, he's explaining. Until these creatures uh. And now he's paying them back. We do anything to protect them. Your daughter, she's here. She's in the house, isn't she? Indeed. And she must survive. Well, we have to get out. Oh, You're gonna die now. Stupid kid's gonna die. Oh. oh, did they just eat him? Bill, is Bill all right? That was pretty... I'd be more concerned for yourself, Doctor. Your advanced age means you have less energy, less matter. But they will take what they can get. You don't understand. Your daughter alive. How does that work? Come on. 
Call these off. Maybe I could help. I'm a doctor. He's the doctor. Visitors in such a long time. Uh, I can tell already she's going to be like super old and My deformed. Eliza. I'm Bill. This is Shereen. Hey. Oh, she's made of wood. Oh, that's freaky. I'm pleased to meet you. She looks like Barbara Streisand. They made her into wood. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, yeah? Bill? You're gonna die! Cockroaches. I don't want a gap here in Morocco. No problem. Let's go. Uh oh. That was a mistake. Oh no. Oh no. It's in my foot. <laughs> Oh, they all go towards rejuvenating the daughter. It's, up, it's upsetting. I understand. But father says we have to survive. Burn her. Eliza, do not fear this man. He says he might be able to make you well. Yeah, a flamethrower should do it. Oh, how are you? Everyone loves insects. I don't. No, nope, I don't. No. Nope. Okay. They're creepy and horrible and icky. He's not wood. He's just like us. He's. Yes. So if he's her father, and she was preserved 70 years yeah. ago. Yeah, he's far too. How is he still the same age? No flies in you, Bill. By the doctors who are failing to save his mother. His. Mother. What? Eliza, he's your son. Oh! Your loving son. Oh, that's so sad. That's really oh, weird now, though. Your dad is your son. This is like redneck America. What are you going to do? You're like 80. <clears throat> uh -oh. Mother's about to kill the son. Who was her dad? This is weird. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I was going to say. How are you going to explain five missing kids? But does that mean they're all going to be back, even the ones from the 90s and that? And go to the deposit. Oh, man, Lame. Gone. Like, you all just nearly died in there, and you're like, oh no, the house is gone. Better luck next time. I can understand you being like, oh man, all my shit was in there. <sighs> is he opening the door? And lots of young people get eaten. Huh. That's definitely him. I'm coming in. Okay, this episode was uh, creepy, but I really liked it. Um, it had a very kind of Halloweenish vibe to it, with you know the weird noises, the old rickety house, the kids being picked off one by one. Um, and then the horrible, horrible bugs, you know, it wasn't like, it wasn't like Axeman or anything, or a ghost, it was horrible bugs. Um, and that's, that's scarier to me than, you know, zombies or anything like that, I hate bugs. Um, yeah, it was actually a, a really good episode, very unusual ending, with the dad being the son, and the daughter being the mum. And I was just like, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's going on here, um... But it was intriguing. The, I mean, I, I thought they they were killing them all, um, which 
would have been fine in my book. You know, would have been fine in my book. But no, they came back because obviously, how are you going to explain five missing kids? Um, you know, to the parents. So yeah, a very creepy um, atmosphere to this episode, which uh, you know I very much appreciated. And I'm, I'm sure the doctor's got had a haircut. He seems to have shorter hair than in previous episodes, which I like. I I, I like the uh, the shorter hair on Capaldi as the doctor. When it gets too long and really curly, I just I don't know. I think it looks a bit of a mess. Um, but I'm I'm getting to semantics here. You know. Um, yeah, there wasn't there wasn't really any you know plot holes. There's no real logic gaps. Uh, it's Doctor Who. There's not a lot of logic in it to begin with. But you know what I'm like. I like to pick apart all types of things and nitpick. And I couldn't really nitpick a lot there. Um, you know, other than a couple of lame jokes here or there. Um, you know, it was pretty on point. There wasn't there wasn't actually a whole lot of comedy uh, at this point. Um, it was a very diverse. Um, bunch of kids and um, yeah it was just it was an enjoyable episode I, I liked it which you know I mean the last episode Finn Ice was good two episodes before that they were kind of meh you know I wasn't a huge huge fan of them um, but if it keeps going like this you know obviously it's picking up pace and, and the writing seems to be more consistent Um and the stories are more interesting, then I think Series 10 could be pretty good. I mean, uh, it's like, uh, I wonder how long they're going to tease us with the, the whole vault thing. Um, because when you, you when you kind of know what's in the vault, when you're spoiled, it really, you just want to, you just want to see it. You just want it to be like, okay, we're at the vault now person inside is revealed let's get on with that story you know that's that's really what i want now um whereas normally where with doctor who i'm kind of like okay they're giving us little snippets of what the big story at the end of the season is going to be and i'm really intrigued to put the pieces together um you know like if, if i didn't know who it was if i hadn't been spoiled then i wouldn't really have been able to guess who it was you know from from the little clues they're giving you but um yeah it's cool. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a pretty fun episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for next week's episode.